again and welcome. So today we are going to review and see what this Sega Kalimba is like. So it's exciting. As you open it, you're gonna see, of course, your tuning hammer. And there are two sides to it. So you're gonna notice one is made of plastic while one is made of metal. Just like I have explained in the tuning video, there is a reason behind this. Why this is plastic, why this is metal. Along with it is your markers. So it comes in color red and there are eight strips. So there's eight strips. Okay. Next. Oh, this is so sanitary. I like it. You use this to wipe your kalimba to remove oil marks that it, that comes from your finger finger fingerprints to remove your fingerprints and short just to remove the smudges. All right, next. Oh, this is the first time I have ever seen this. So this is what they're. Okay. So this is what their manual looks like. Yep, this is all in Chinese. So in this booklet, it only shows tablatures, which is like the staff, the music staff. Yeah, music staff. And um, for the notation, they just placed numbers. But you know what? It's a crash course on how to use your kalimba. If you understand Chinese, this would really help you. But apparently, I do not know what is written here. So just so you know, um, this is what it comes with, right? Okay, so here you go. This is it. Um, there is a foam for cushion. <laughs> All right, here you go. So this is how it looks. It's it has a weight to it as compared to the wooden one, but yeah, it's very, 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 ooh, this is just so cool. <laughs> oh. oh, I like this one because the letters are really, they have big engravements on it. There, can you see it? The engravements are bigger as compared to what we usually see. Wow. Oh, by the way, this is from Sega. Sega? Sega. Spelled as C-E-G-A. So, the real question is, how does it sound like? Let's check it out. And is it in tune? Mm. Okay, here we go. Wow, 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 wow. So, I have tuned the kalimba, but apparently the B, the highest octave of the B and the C is still, mm, it's still muted. Which is so strange because the D and E, it's okay, the sound is okay. Gecko Sega Game On. I'll see the difference. Okay, distance wise. Ito pa rin. This is still wider compared to this one. But this versus this, this is wider by one key distance. By, by one key width. Right, so again, this is the A. A of the 
जाएगा As compared to the gecko, can you see the difference? Let's see. Let's see. So comparing just based on that key alone, the C, we can somehow feel that it doesn't have the acoustics that goes along with a wooden material as compared to this one. I'm being biased based on the B and the C. So it has its sweetness to it. Uh, the definition of the sound of this acrylic Sega Kalimba is hmm, bright. The sound is bright. Yeah. Yeah, so I just think maybe I been one of the few who got the two blank keys okay i'll just try to fix it let's see what we can do okay overall i think it's fine the only thing that i'm not very happy about is first their manual is in has no english translation Next is the hammer. I'm not a fan of this. I like the one that has a pointy edge on it. And then, quality-wise, um, it's decent. It's quite decent, but I think you can get something better for the price of it. You can get something definitely better for the price. I'm just saying that again because of the B and the C. But if I will be able to fix this, then you know what? I actually, I would actually like this one. I hope that this was um, informative and helpful to you in deciding if sh should you get this. You know what? That's just my opinion as to what I think about this uh, Sega Kalimba. Now, if you, after seeing all that was, all that has been shown the video and you want to give it a go then it's way 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 fine but if you're interested in others do check out another video that i have made comparing four kalimbas that i have had yeah so with that being said again thank you for your time thank you for your interest and thank you for you i appreciate you and i'm happy that you are here so that being said, I just want to bid you God bless, stay awesome, stay in love, and enjoy your kalimba. Um, it's a privilege to be able to experience such a beautiful instrument like it. Alright, good night, good afternoon, good morning, whatever time is it. See you on the next video.